Welcome uh, to our um, webcast on uh, political globalization and the role of the United Nations since 1945. In, in a prior webcast, we discussed the League of Nations 1920 to 1945 as the first attempt to create an international organization for cooperation. While the League did establish a place and system for diplomatic meetings, effective measures for refugee relief and cooperation on international health, um, and, and despite its success in mediating the Treaty of Sevres, it could not stop the disaster of World War II, which lasted from 1939 to 1945. In the theory of international relations, when there are only bilateral or one-to-one -one relations between countries, there is a greater possibility that this leads to war or conflict. Countries that are in one-to-one -one relations like France and Germany before World War I and World War II, and that lack multilateral diplomatic and economic relations are more prone to go to war. Many theorists suggest that the lack of multilateral agreements and relations in Europe led to both the First World War and the Second World War. At the end of World War II, over 61 million people had been killed, including in the Holocaust, and entire cities had been destroyed or devastated. We list among these, uh, in 1937, the massacres at, at, at Nanking in China by Japanese, uh, invading Japanese forces, the German uh, occupation, the bombing, and destruction of Warsaw and Poland and other cities. In 1940, the bombing and destruction of Coventry in England, uh, Lund parts of London and Rotterdam in Holland. Between 1940 and 1945, the Allied forces uh, bombed Dresden, Hamburg, and numerous other cities in Germany, and many of these cities were mostly destroyed. Similarly, in Russia, uh, between 1941 to 43, the cities of Sevastopol and Stalingrad were uh, almost entirely destroyed. Uh, a city like Manila in the Philippines uh, was occupied and destroyed and during the consequence of, of occupation, fire, and uh, uh, the battle for Manila between 1941 to 1945. And of course, in Japan, uh, Entire cities like Tokyo and others were devastated by uh, uh, conventional bombing from air. And of course, Hiroshima and Nagasaki suffered the only use of atomic bombing. It, it completely devastated and destroyed the, those two cities at the end of the war in 1945, in August of 1945. In the aftermath of World War II, the Allied countries that were victorious pushed for the creation of a new international organization that would enable multilateral international cooperation. They agreed to create the United Nations as an organization of all the nations of the world to come together to, to seek cooperation and avoid violence. The UN has six official languages that are recognized equally. All documents at the UN must be published and all speeches translated simultaneously into each of the six languages, Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Russian, and Spanish. The main bodies of the UN are the General Assembly, the Security Council, Economic and Social Council, the Trusteeship Council that handles uh, territories, some island uh, territories in the Pacific Ocean, for instance, that have difficulty managing themselves the International Court of Justice, and then the Secretariat in the Office of the Secretary General. The General Secretariat is made up of all member nations and it meets in the General Assembly in New York. One of the most impressive architectural symbols of the mid to late 20th century, the current Secretary General of the UN is Antonio Guterres, the former Prime Minister of Portugal. The Security Council was created in the UN to help resolve potential conflict and reduce or intervene against the outbreak of war. 
Its organization was influenced by the Cold War. The Cold War is the name given to rivalry of the communist bloc nations and the powers of Western Europe, the United States, and Canada. The reality of the Cold War was soon apparent during the Korean War from 1950 to 1953. The Soviet Union held influence in the United Nations with the votes of the Warsaw Pact, countries of Eastern Europe, and communist China. When the Security Council was formed, it was agreed to allow five permanent members, all of whom were the only nuclear powers through the 1960s, the United States, China, Soviet Union, France, and the United Kingdom. Each has the power of veto against any measure passed by the Security Council. In addition, there are 10 elected member nations who are members for about two year periods. The United Arab Emirates was a member from 1986 to 1987. The UN is also responsible for helping refugees of war and other disasters. This is the UNHCR, or United Nations High Commission for Refugees, that was instrumental in helping the Palestine, uh, Palestinian refugees in 1948 and continues to provide help to Syrian refugees today. The UN's World Health Organization coordinates responses to disease and threats of epidemics, as in the recent Ebola virus outbreak in Africa. UNESCO provides worldwide assistance in areas of science, education, and children's programs. United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, is in charge of ensuring cooperation and standards of environmental studies monitoring and compliance. After the UN was created, many regional associations for cooperation were created. Here are a few. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, the European Union, also known as the EU, the Arab League, which has 22 member states, and of course our own Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, here formed in 1981, it consists of six member states, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and Oman. Despite these international and regional political organizations, there is no guarantee of security without constant vigilance, diplomacy, active cooperation. As we have seen in recent decades and years, some states continue to slide into civil war and regional and local factionalism, Syria, Iraq, Libya, uh, and Yemen, the Central African Republic, Nigeria, the Sudan. Other areas of ongoing hostility include former outlying republics of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, uh, Georgia and Ukraine, and internal dissidents in Chechnya. The failure of the UN to resolve these conflicts, as well as the long-standing crisis of Palestine, leads many to criticize the function of the UN. The UN then is really a test of the many different models and theories of international relations theory. And we have a list of some references here. 